hey guys welcome back to my channel called how to uh, in this video I'll be covering how we can uh, fix this virtualized Intel VTE is not supported on this platform this is something like you know we get when we run uh, and when, when we want to power on any host that is running on VMware player or VMware uh, workstation right in that case uh, like you know, if you are even facing the same issue then this video is meant for you so I was struggling back and forth from last two days to figure out like you know how we can solve this uh, a prior video that is something I have made and I have posted on my channel like you know that was the first part uh, how we can uh, actually bypass uh, this virtualized Intel VT is not supported on the platform for the VMware workstation that's something I have shown uh, and I'll be giving this link uh, on the, in the description below as well if you want to refer but the actual solution that I got today like you know uh, even uh, the, the same thing I was uh, I was discussing on the Microsoft uh, community and even the VMware community to get the fix for this right so the fix is here okay so uh, the summary uh, what I have done so far to fix this was uh, the first and foremost thing you need to do is uh, you need to completely disable uh, uh, VMware uh, sorry Hyper-V uh, Hyper-V is something like you, know, you need to disable how to disable that Hyper-V is something like you know I have co I have covered on the first video I'll, I'll please refer that link and the second part would be uh, like you know uh, you need to make sure uh, to disable the hyper v uh, even that is something i have covered in my first video right uh, uh, if that is the case then you need to disable the hyper v but the important check that i was missing in the, even in my first video was to enable this virtual machine platform okay so i'm i, I do have my laptop which uh, of i9 12th gen with having 3070 ti of her uh, graphics and 32 gb of ram and one to and one tb of ssd and so on so and for and somehow like you know I was uh, making this mistake to uh, ignore this virtual machine platform uh, to to turn on this feature okay that is something I, I have done uh, on this uh, to fix it out and the and, and, and afterwards like you know if we'll go to uh, setting and click on privacy and security Windows security and click on device security and click on core isolation detail under this device security okay so under core isolation uh, you will see memory integrity that is something I have turned it off okay and this is even an important check that I have found uh, found uh, by turning this off uh, and ultimately what I did was I just like you know removed my uh, VMware uh, that was 16 16.x 16 I was running 16.x on on, on on my last video while uh, doing this t-shoot but uh, right now what I have done was I just uh, used my latest VMware workstation that is 17 Pro and this have a good uh, support for Windows 11 and so on so that's something I have found on, on the web uh, while while seeing the release note for this Windows workstation 17 Pro okay so this is something I have done right so in summary but in, in summary to summarize all these things in short uh, try to change uh, try to run or try to install uh, the latest VMware workstation if you are even encountering the same issues right and make sure you will turn off your uh, memory integrity part okay if you will be enabling memory integrity part and if you will go for turning on your I think VMware probably you will even you might get BSOD blue screen uh, of death okay that's something I was getting and even I have published this thing on, on, on the Microsoft community uh, so yeah that, that's something you need to make sure of try to disable the memory integrity uh, try to use the latest VMware workstation and completely disable your Hyper-V from your machine and then I think you will be able to uh, easily uh, run your nested VM okay so if I'll just show you the setting uh, just a, just a quick 
uh, on my previous video while I was powering on my virtual machine host uh, like you know I just uh, disable this virtualization engine right but now I uh, with this setting that I have just told you uh, just enable this virtualization engine and with Intel VT and, and APT support right and click on OK and if you'll power on this virtual machine it won't be prompting any errors it will power on without prompting any sort of errors right so this is the actual solution for uh, if, if you are even encountering the same issues then uh, try to follow this proce process steps and please do let me know if it was able to like you know fix your issues out okay so even like you know try to make sure to check my previous video and 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 back and forth to this video as well hopefully it will make sense it will it will give the clarity what to do and I hope yeah this might be informative for you it, it took a lot of time for me so I thought to publish this video so that like you know it might help you out if you even encounter the same issues okay so well yeah thank you so much for watching this video and do let me know on the comment section below uh, how you were able to fix this and see you until next time bye bye